Hello, my name is Swayo Sobox Alpha, and today we are going to see some videos to share with you. And it's going to be fun. It will be regarding the tech uh, news, tech views, and all those things. So let's see. So basically, we are seeing uh, this is a video showing uh, uh, Tesla's new diamond shape uh, battery uh, factory which is announced by Elon Musk. It's like a diamond diamond. Hundred gigawatt hours. It might light everything. The next video is uh, the future of homes electrifying sustainable living with solar power. So and electric cars, it will be uh, told by Mr. Elon Musk. From, from a really badass picture to a kind of less badass picture. Um, this is just a cute house from Desperate Housewives or something. What, what, the, what, what on earth is going on here? Well, this illustrates the picture of the future that I think it, um, is how, how things will evolve. You've got an electric car in the driveway. Um, if you look in between the electric car and the house, uh, there are actually three power walls uh, stacked up against the side of the house, and then that that house roof is, is a solar roof. So it's a, that's an actual solar glass roof. Okay. So those. That, that's a picture like of a real. That's a, well, it, admittedly, it's a, it's a real fake house. Basically, he's saying he's going to put uh, solar panels or more like a glass roof on the houses in the future, which will power the house and everything, and it will power your appliances and cars. All those things. So hope he does that. That would be a good. Your house will be sustaining its own power. This video is very interesting. It's a few, basically the future of transportation, self-driving cars and trucks and all those things. Hope you will enjoy. And also underground hyperloop. In 2050, transportation will have immensely changed, with experimentation focused on self-driving cars already underway from car manufacturers such as Tesla. It is not much of a stretch to believe that by 2050, the technology for fully automated vehicles will exist. Some notable advantages of such automated vehicles include a drastic yeah, reduction in traffic-related nice. jets nice. because the vehicles will collaborate with traffic control systems. Another advantage is the change in lifestyle that self-driving vehicles will bring, with no need to man a vehicle, people will be free to choose whether to relax and or be more productive things as they travel and a lot of free time, considering the amount of time spent in traffic. Another interesting development is the Hyperloop like this is, One project this is by Elon, which aims to move the bulk of public transportation underground. With the use of electromagnetic levitation at historic speeds of 310 km per hour, this it will be like flying the opportunity on its own, on the tracks, it will not be attaching it, it will be just like going like there will through be this. That's amazing. Incidents. 310 km per hour. Wow. Yes. That will be future. Less accidents and more future. That's nice. That's really nice. If we are talking about transportation, so why shouldn't we discuss uh, some game changing armored vehicles? which are very much uh, powerful for the army. If we are talking about vehicles, we should see that. What the, do they do? And that would be amazing to know that what they will do. A pretty interesting light-armored vehicle has shown up at the IDEX defense show. It's called Stinger and is made for three crew members. Its main job is reconnaissance, patrolling, and similar tasks. What makes the Stinger stand out is that it can be controlled remotely if needed. It can also go as fast as 120. They will act just like a drone, like you are operating them from like from another country, and they will move on your command just like drones. It will be amazing. 20 kilometers per hour. On top of that, the team who built it have made sure that it can protect the crew to Sanac 4560 standards. In simpler terms. It can take a hit from a 7.62 by 51 mm NATO bullet from about 30 meters away. Plus, it has mine protection. People don't know that NATO bullet is very strong. It like can penetrate through the walls and all of those things. It's 
quite a big bullet and it can penetrate I think so tanks and other armored vehicles easily. ...that can save soldiers from a 10 kilogram landmine explosion. And if needed, the Stinger can be fitted with not just machine guns and 12.7 or 30 millimeter cannons, but also rocket launchers. Oh my god, yeah. To the rocket launchers. <laughs> Weapon of destruction. Look at it go. Wow. Wow. Just wow. But I don't appreciate war and this vehicle should not be made. War should not happen. There will should be peace everywhere in my opinion. It's not good. These type of vehicles are being made. It means we are not a peaceful civilization. The next video we will be showing the, that to how we will be having things which will be invented in 2015. Like we are in 2023, we are going towards 2024. So this will be having a lot of things which are not common or still imaginable, which will be available by 2015. It's a short video, but let's see what this contains for us. Just want to say that uh, this uh, person who made this video, the next video we are going to see, has uh, a little bit funny or cringy humor also. Sometimes funny, sometimes cringy, so don't mind. Let's see. A large bottle filtered. So basically you can use these water bottles by... They have a filter or something like that and they will purify it. We will be having little mice. Somebody has seen Jetsons. They have that particular uh, robot butler made in their house. It's just like that. Equipped to care for a room full of grandma. And let's be real, he can probably drive better than them too. So, this is like the pool cleaner. Uh, it was shown in the Netflix series also as a future. I think it's Black Mirror or something. No, I think it's a robot. But I think so, it's already in use by some company, but not at that level, it's a bigger thing now, so maybe it will be more visible by 2050. Okay, so we got our vacuum cleaner for the outside now. Wow. It will get stolen. Pay away, thumbs up. I've seen Terminator and it's very scary. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's see what's next in the box for us. Here we are going to see the cheapest PS5 upgrade. Let's see what it is. I like PS5. Hope you like this it too. Could this be the cheapest PS5 upgrade ever? Well, you know how there's a PlayStation logo on the side of the console. So if you remove that, there's a small area on the inside. Of okay, the he just broke it. Stickers. You can have any color you'd like, but today I'm going to go for the retro PS1 logo. Nice. So refit the cover and nice. voila, you just spent two pounds on wow. a super easy upgrade, That's excellent. and it looks That's awesome. Cool. So what do you think? I think it's nice, like the way it looks. I like things in their custom ways. I don't like 
mod modifying things so much. So I don't think so. I will do that. Will you? Please comment. So in the next video, we are going to see the Pixels, Google Pixels first poll label phone. Just like Samsung Galaxy Fold series and Oppo Fold series. So we are going to see how did the Pixel Fold works. And it's amazing to know that Fold label phones are getting so much normal these days and I like them. They are just like a movable. More right, likely I can say portable tablets. I love them. So let's see what did the Google did this time. Google's first ever folding phone and one that solves some of the major issues with other phones. The first thing that stands out about it looks is smaller. It's, it's not as big as with a case on it. Samsung Galaxy's Fold. But it has outer screen which is big. See? But smaller than Galaxy Z Fold. Uh, the bezels, the inside bezels are so ugly. Uh, it's still in the, let's see, Samsung's one are so small and everything. It, it, yeah, can hear bezels. But it has a sleek look. I hope they will make it better like in Pixel Fold 3, 4, I think so then they will be a better one, in my opinion. So, let's see what happens. And with this, we are going to finish for today's video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you. Take care.